really the, all the the people that I know that have written on any any topic this is like okay this is what I know now <laughs> and I'm sharing it and it's a contribution to the literature and by god if 10 years from now this is all we know then you know I've been a failure What's up, everybody, and welcome to the show today. We drop great content each and every week, and we want to make sure that you guys get notified. And in order to do that, you're going to have to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you've gotten a lot of value out of this, make sure you give us a like and share our videos with your friends. I think for me, it was the realization that um, uh, I, was, I was always at a, a disadvantage because I was... And this isn't a sob story because it, for me, it's not, it, it, you know, I had to learn English first. Then I had to catch up because I was set back one year of school so that I, I, I could uh, I could catch up. And it, it just seemed like I was always catching up. And in the book, you know, the story where on graduation day, I, I go down to the local library and I get a library card finally so that I can read what I want. And I, and I literally said to myself, you know what? Yeah, edu you know, college degree is good, but now I'm going to read what I want to read. And, and it was a matter of reading broad, uh, of everything from, you know, Pacific Islanders who can navigate using the stars to ethnographies about first contact with Mesoamericans to any number of things. So long I, as no professor was telling me what to study, especially if it was his book. Um, and uh, music, right? The, 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 the study and enjoyment of, of music, how, it, how it, it, it has evolved, how it exists in every society. What, what is the benefit of music? You know, the, 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 the swaying motion, the, the, all of that. And so to me, it was about exploring. Explore, explore, explore. If you, if you said, Joe, do, do you know everything that there is to know about body language? No, no. And I, and I have notebooks mm. with over 5,000 <laughs> descriptions of behaviors. And I find stuff all the time and and i tell students that's not the point <laughs> the point isn't some line the point is to grow outward like a like like a wave to keep expanding keep expanding and 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 that's and i think that's that helps us in, in, to open our minds number one but I think when I when I when I talk to really exceptional um, uh, individuals, they had a, a yearning to learn, and um, and they were always seeking. Um, it, and it and it's interesting because in many instances, they weren't sure what they were seeking, and I'm sure you've run into it. People who come to you and say, well, you know, I'm 27 years old. I'm not sure what I want to do, do, do in my life. Understood. Continue to seek. Um, because you will find it. Um, history is replete. You know, I talk about these, <laughs> these two bicycle mechanics from Ohio who invented the airplane. <laughs> Okay, you know, it, it's, you know, they didn't know they were going to create, you know, powered flight. They didn't know they were everything that we now have, the aerodomes, everything else was, was uh, thanks to two guys without an engineering degree. That story is utterly fascinating, too, for anyone who wants to get into it. I mean, that, the, the incremental steps that it took to, to, to just get the thing to fly a few feet was yeah. remarkable, but yet the dedication and the and the wanting to to do that, the desire uh, was, and motivation was there. And what's interesting about writing, and I think so many people look at it as, oh, if you wrote the book, then you're an expert on this subject. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we've ever interviewed anyone who would 
would think that they were the definitive expert on the book that they wrote. They wrote the book because they had a lot of questions <laughs> and, and they went yeah. on a journey to answer those questions and they decided to document it for other people who have those questions. That was the, why they wrote the book. It wasn't because I need everyone to know what I need to know to make the world a better place. It's I'm on a journey. I'm going to, do, I'm going to document it. Johnny, you, you, you nailed it. We drop great content each and every week, and we want to make sure that you guys get notified. And in order to do that, you're going to have to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you've gotten a lot of value out of this, make sure you give us a like and share our videos with your friends. Really, all the, the people that I know that have written on any, any topic, this is like, okay, this is what I know now. <laughs> And I'm sharing it, <laughs> and it's a contribution to the literature. And by God, if 10 years from now this is all we know, then, you know, I've been a failure. Um, you know, t depending on who you talk to, they say technology uh, information is doubling anywhere from every three days to 11 days. To, uh, there, there's all sorts, sorts of numbers out there. That's true. But I think a, a more important uh, quotient here is how fast are we adapting to it and how fast are we ado adopting it? Because one thing is to adapt. We did. We, you know, all of a sudden, now everybody's on a Zoom call. Okay, we adapted. But how we adopt, that's what's critical. And I, and I, and I think... This is where, you know, the kinds of things that, that you do with, with the art of charm is that guidance that helps us to adopt those best traits. Those best traits that will benefit the individual, their family, and, uh, and, and so forth. And I think that's why we write. We don't, we, I certainly don't finish at the end of, 14 months of writing in this little room and say, okay, that's it. That's all that needs to be said. Uh, <laughs> like, nobody does that. <laughs> well, I want to pick up on that thread because technology and information is advancing mm -hmm. rapidly in yeah. our lifetimes. And part of the problem with the technology and the information and now the disinformation, misinformation, yeah. is we don't have a keen sense of observation. So leading to the second trait, Johnny and I were just in Las Vegas this past weekend, and we were hosting our clients who are in our X Factor Accelerator in a mastermind session, and they had interacted with each other online in our Zoom sessions, but this was really our first time having an in-person event in the last 18 months. So we thought it'd be fun to sort of test their observation skills. All of these clients are coming to us working on their communication, and they're excited to get to know other members. And halfway through the first day, after lunch, we said, all right, I want you to write down three things you learned about each person you interacted with today. We gave them some time, pen and paper, and you'd be amazed at how many were stumped at one or two bits of information. And Johnny and I are sitting here, and we feel like we could write pages for each one of these individuals because we've really worked on our power of observation to be great coaches and be great mentors and be great interviewers. These observation skills are all we have to work through all the information and the technology that we are confronted with to make sense of it, to move forward, to advance. Yeah. What are your thoughts on strengthening observation skills when Johnny and I are looking around wondering what happened to everyone's <laughs> curiosity? What happened to their ability to observe others? You know, I'm glad you, you bring that up because that's not surprising to me. The part of the problem is we've outsourced observation right <laughs> we we leave it to the security camera or the security guard in the lobby or i have to be careful that thing we called a l e x a i don't want to activate it yeah when we say what's yeah. the weather i mean i could look outside and say holy mackerel look at that cloud but no <laughs> we we outsource uh, uh, observation. We, we, we go to Google and say, okay, tell me everything about Joe Navarro, right? Um, hello, he's in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 you know, and yet, and yet, and you guys know this, 
You cannot be exceptional if you're not a great observer. 